we've established that there is a need for these short, medium and long term solutions. And we can also see if you just look around us that there are markets where there is an existing supporting network and infrastructure based starting with the regulation, starting with incentives, which which helps and creates the enablers for value added medicines to come to market. And uh, you would have guessed that I'm talking about the US. The US has the 505B2 pathway. And what that 505B2 pathway does is that it creates a market for value added medicines in your in the US. Uh, and and the US accounts for 70% of the global value added medicines um, uh, uh, sales. And what does Europe have? Europe has merely 12%. And the reason for that, as I, I will repeat, is that the lack of enabling regulations and the lack of enabling incentives. So that is what we have to solve. And that is what we have to ensure that we solve in order to bring value added medicines to patients in Europe. Patients in Europe deserve value added medicines as much as anybody else in the world. And today they don't have access.